going to show you how to make seamless background patterns in Illustrator of absolutely anything on absolutely any size of background. So let's say we're going to cover this background. It's only a small landscape shape, but it can be any size. And we want to make a sort of polka dot effect, so repeated circles. So we'll get the ellipse tool here and holding down shift, of course, draw a circle. And we'll make this circle pink, fill and get rid of the black stroke. Now, the only thing you've got to remember is that the element you're repeating in the seamless background pattern, you want to draw it first to be the size you want it to be in the pattern. So we go to the selection tool there and select the element you want repeated and we go object pattern make. There's a sign there saying it's been added to the swatches panel. We'll come back to that later. Now what you have here is the grid that they show you. Don't worry, this isn't the seamless pattern yet. We're just setting up the swatch for the seamless pattern. So you can choose different arrangements of the circle and you can increase this number here. It's at 83 at the moment and we'll just increase it to 100 pixels and of course that separates the circles from each other. There are different ways of arranging the circles here in the pattern and you can play around with the controls here but the thing to remember is that is just setting up the swatch you're not actually setting up the pattern do that you press done here then you get rid of that circle because it's in the swatches panel there now. If you haven't got your swatches panel up, you just go window swatches. So all you have to do is now create a rectangle in the size you want the pattern and it'll fill it with pink like the last circle was, but that doesn't matter. But of course we put the fill to the four because we don't want it filled with pink. We want it filled with the new pattern. So all we have to do is apply that new pattern by clicking in the swatch palette there. Then then of course if you wanted a background to that pattern say you wanted a light pink so you just choose the color there and put it to the back I'm using the quick key and uh, there you have a pattern that can go on the back of anything a polka dot pattern but they can be vector shapes or they can be bitmap images so I'm going to file place now an image that I want to create a seamless pattern of so we go file place and I have some watercolor patterns here that I've got from creating Fabrica and these are specifically created as a pattern so what I do with these cannot be repeated with any old image because you'll see the edges of the image but the one thing to remember is when you're creating a pattern from a bitmap image in Illustrator it can't be linked it has to be embedded on the pasteboard so we'll uncheck that link there place the image and again we'll create the image in the size that we want it to repeat in the pattern. There we have it selected with the selection tool and same again we just go object pattern make and I'm going to stop that of course we don't want to see that every time and it's done it to the grid where everything is next to each other which is what we want and so same again we've done that we've got our pattern in our swatches palette and we know it's that one because it's the latest swatch that's been added to the swatches palette so we just create another rectangle for the size that we want the pattern in and then just add the pattern in the swatches palette there's much more you can do with patterns so I want to show you that it can be quite complicated vector images that you can repeat in a pattern so let's get a snake oops ungroup all of those this is something I've downloaded from Shutterstock copy that snake add it to the pasteboard we're going to reduce it in size and with it selected again you know what we do object pattern make by the way if you have the pattern palette up you can just go make pattern there and then we can play around with the arrangement of the pattern you have a more visually appealing sort of arrangement of the snakes in this case we can reduce width down slightly we don't want the snakes repeating on each other ah we don't want to reduce it down that much once you're happy with it you go done get rid of your original snake again you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add that rectangle and fill it with our snake pattern and one last one to show you let's say we want four different animals put these in here more or less the same 
Let's make it really small and we could fiddle around with the color to make them all a bit more color coordinated, but I won't bother about that now. Pattern make, let's just go with that one, done. See how this one looks. So there you go. That's how to create a seamless pattern for a background in Illustrator. My name's Rob from robcubbon.com. If you're interested in learning about graphic design, I have free courses on my website and one of them is an introduction into Adobe Illustrator which is what this application is and Photoshop so the link is below the video for those free courses if you're interested in them thanks very much for watching I'll see you in another video